That cyber attack on Sony, hackers reportedly taunting the FBI, apparently calling investigators idiots, and tonight, North Korea issuing a bold message of its own to the U.S. This cyber war now turning into an international war of words. Here's ABC's Tom Yamas on the story once again tonight. Tonight, North Korea firing back after the U.S. publicly accused the secretive nation of coordinating the cyber attack that crippled movie giant Sony. A spokesman on state-run TV claiming President Obama himself orchestrated the attack and threatening repercussions targeting the White House, the Pentagon, and all of mainland USA if the U.S. does not agree to a joint investigation with the North Koreans. This as President Obama downplayed the cyber attack. I think it was an uh, act of cyber vandalism that was very costly, very expensive. And now the U.S. reaching out to China for help reining in the North Koreans. Meanwhile, Sony's hackers apparently undaunted. According to The Hollywood Reporter, they released another message this weekend. This one taunting the FBI. <laughs> and linking to this YouTube video titled, You Are an Idiot. The Hollywood Reporter could not verify the authenticity of the email, but says the message which ABC News did not receive appeared similar to previous ones. You want us to assassinate the leader of North Korea? The attack on Sony, all because North Korea is angry over a comedic movie about a fictional assassination of Kim Jong-un. Sony pulled the film, saying movie theaters refused to show it because of violent threats from the hackers. Foreign policy experts say what started as a joke is now turning into an international incident. If the United States retaliates, I think it's quite clear that there will be some retribution and we're in for a tit for tat that could escalate to something much more serious. And Sony says back in June, North Korea made it clear to them they were upset over this film, so they reached out to experts and even the U.S. government, and no one raised a red flag. Cecilia, Sony now saying that they have insurance that could possibly protect them from some of the financial losses of this cyber attack. Well, there's a lot of money on the line, right, Tom? Thanks. Good to see you tonight.